Welcome back. Now, Gilead Sciences has announced that affordable versions of the revolutionary HIV prevention drug, Linacapavir, will soon be available in 120 low as well as middle income countries. Now, this drug, administered as a twice yearly injection, has demonstrated significant efficacy in preventing HIV, particularly in trials with women here in South Africa as well as in Uganda and men across uh, the various countries. However, campaigners have express concern that the agreement leaves many high burden nations especially in Latin America at risk and are now calling for clarity on pricing and for more on this let's extend a very warm welcome to Professor Tulio de Oliveira the director of for the Center for Epidemic Response and Innovation so Prof thank you so much for joining us today welcome so firstly this could be very groundbreaking medical innovation towards the eradication of HIV and South Africa could really benefit uh, from such a program, especially with our current high number of those that are either infected or affected by the disease. Okay, yeah. Good afternoon, Alicia, and good afternoon to our viewers. Yes, this is fantastic news. Yeah. So the result of the trial, yeah, it were published a couple of weeks ago, and then were replicated again in a second trial, a larger trial, and the results were phenomenal. Yeah, basic 0% of people, especially young women, that receive the twice a year injection, so just twice two times in the year acquire HIV infection yeah so so it is so and that was a large trial it's around 2,000 patients received the 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 injection and zero got infections and then after that it followed very strong activism yeah and that's where South Africa is quite strong also and then uh, by Friday two days ago they released that the price of the drug which at the moment is marketed at forty two thousand dollars a year this means close like around 700,000 rands a year would be decreased to almost nothing. We are talking about expecting to be like $40 a year, 600 rand. And not only that, but that they set up six different uh, facilities across the world to make the drug at no cost, yeah, at really cheap. And these are pharmaceutical companies in India, in Pakistan, in 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 in, in Cairo, yeah, in Egypt and North America. Mm -hmm. Just to expand on that very point, uh, Professor, of funding. Now, the concerns of pricing as well as accessibility, I mean, what are they based on and are they valid? Because currently, uh, South Africa does provide free ARV treatment to citizens uh, in, at all our public uh, uh, health care facilities. So would this not be the same case then for Lena Kapavir? According to my research, it is quite pricey, as you've mentioned there. I, I understand with a monthly treatment of an estimated, it's like 3,000 US dollars. And as you rightly mentioned, there is over 61,000 rand. Uh, but obviously, there would be government agreed payment methods uh, in this regard. Okay, thank you, Alicia. So, 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 so this price is how the drug is market in United States of America. Yeah, but in South Africa and in 120 countries around the world, Gilead yeah confirmed that they will be marketing that drug as a generic, which around 600 rand a year. Yeah, what's the difference between this this therapy? Yeah, the difference. Is is that is very easy to take. So you're talking about two only injections in the ear, and it's used to prevent HIV treatment. So, for example, a lot of time people that is at risk of acquire HIV and have very little resources. So, for example, young women that cannot negotiate or difficult to negotiate in condom using usage or safe sex with the partners, now they can take this uh, injection and they would be protected uh, to acquire HIV even if they end up having sex with an HIV positive partner. Let's talk about the patents then, doctor. How would that work uh, pertaining to South Africa? Because we understand, I mean, generic uh, medication is usually cheaper uh, than the original uh, priced uh, medications. 
Yes, exactly, Alicia. So, so the company has released the, the, the formula or the intellectual properties to six generic manufacturing. Yeah. And until the genetic manufacturing increases the production, Gilead has proposed that we'll sell the, the, the Lena Kapavi in, in the HIV field. We call that just as LEN, L-E-N, yeah, at cost price, which would be very cheap. And then that after that would be provided as a generic with initially six companies around the world. And to the best of my knowledge, also South African companies is starting to negotiate to make this therapy as generic in South Africa. Mm, and speaking of making those therapies, Prof, I mean, at this stage, we should be producing and, of course, investing heavily in research projects in order to create as well as produce our very own disease response drugs. But facilities are, and resources are still lagging quite a lot behind. So what do you think still needs uh, to happen in order to address this uh, holistically in the country? Okay, the, the, the first thing, yeah, that South Africa, they, they, it was the main country that, that, that trialed this therapy. Yeah, so South Africa has some of the best trial uh, uh, yeah, clinics and trial companies in the world. Yeah, for example, for the initial trial was 28 sites, which 25 were in South Africa and three in Uganda, just showing how South Africa is leading the world on really being be able to test and identify these effective therapies and big congratulations to the to the South African scientists that led that yeah and then once that is shown effective then is the process of production of the of the, the drug at the moment the biggest companies that produce generic in the world are based in India, in Pakistan, and in Africa, they have large ones in Egypt. So these three countries will be producing this therapy and they will be given to 120 countries at basic generic price, very, very cheap. The controversy is that the company left another 20 middle income countries, for example, Brazil, Peru, Colombia out of that deal and at the moment that's where uh, where some Latin America uh, public health organizations and activists are trying to engage to make sure that they are also part of that but in Africa all our neighbors will receive this therapy at generic at really cheap Really great news there, Prof. Unfortunately, we're out of time, but thank you so much nonetheless for that great input, uh, Professor Tulia de, de Oliveira, the CWE Director.